What a fucking bite, yeah, it's me, Barry Blender Henderson, back with another daily blend. Well, 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 look what's happened. Barry Blender was trying to keep it low profile, keep it low key, keep my head down for a while. And then all of a sudden, we've got ourselves a crisis. There's loads of crises. There's the coronavirus crisis, Jesus crisis. And the people of the world say to themselves, where's Barry Blender? I wish I could use his, his wisdom and his guidance. So here I fucking am. So let's face it folks, the world has a fucking pandemic. Something going by the name of a coronavirus. The fucking coronavirus. Shite name, it sounds a bit weak. Corona's a bit weak. Had it been called special brew flu, I'd have fucking dirt my whips. I'm sick of hearing about this fucking coronavirus to be honest with you. It's the hot topic, it's all anyone's talking about. And to be honest at this point, I'm tired of being scared of it. I'm just like, give me the fucking flu, all right? I know it started in China. You know, it'll kill the average Chinaman. I'm about six times the size of the average Chinaman. So if it got to me, I'd probably take fucking four or five lines of lamb sip and I'd be fucking back to normal. Not China, man, you know what I mean? It's 2020, you can't say that shit. Not fucking, you know what I mean? China, China they, China them, non chinery whatever the fuck. Man. Anyway, this coronavirus started in fucking China, didn't it? Because some fucking dirty hallion thought it would be good crack to eat a bowl of fucking bat soup. It's literally like you've never had a fucking decent Chinese. You could have had yourself a delicious fucking curry half and half and you're out here drinking bat soup probably because you think it gives you a fucking root. Sort of God, Asians are mad for that shit, you know what I mean? Some cunt sitting on a bus eating a bag of dried up squid nipples because someone told him it would give him a fucking boner. Lads, just have a fucking chicken ball special and a wank and call it a day, will you? Anyway, in the UK and Ireland, it's a fucking state of emergency. People are treating us like the fucking apocalypse. People are panic buying. It's like fucking Black Friday on fucking shit tickets. Can't get a bog roll for love or money. That's another thing I don't understand. Why are you buying fucking toilet rolls in this scenario? Surely food would be the main priority. You're not going to be able to eat the fucking bog roll down the line, are you? You'd be better off buying yourself some fucking pot noodles. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can survive without the toilet roll. Half of the fucking world doesn't use toilet roll, you know what I'm saying? Do you know what fucking kitten soft looks like in, in the Middle East? They got there. You got that right up your fucking scat button. Hook it out yourself. No an Andrex to be seen. Anyway, we need to chill out a wee bit. It's dangerous. Just be sensible. Here's Bio Blender's top tips on how to survive the coronavirus. Number one, just when you go out of the house, simply don't touch fucking anything. Just don't touch the stuff. Don't be fucking French kissing anybody's palm of their hand. Don't be French kissing their hands or nothing. Number C, if you're gonna sneeze, make sure to sneeze in your elbow, which is like, ick, like the dab sneeze, which I'm pretty sure I invented. And if you can't sneeze into your elbow, make sure maybe sneeze into a wee lunchbox and take it home and release it in the garden when you get home. Section four, and I can't stress this enough, drink plenty of hand sanitizer. If you can't afford the hand sanitizer, take a Baraka rectally on the R every hour for the next two weeks. Number six, if you're in public and you're at a bar and you're out on the sniff and you manage to meet a young woman or fella, uh, don't be doing any fingering. Don't use your hands at all. Go straight to the bucking, you know, because you might lose your dick, but you quicker replace the dick than you would a finger. And the final one, and I can't stress this enough, get yourself a mask like this. This is, I actually made this one myself because this is more for a fella with a plus size face. But that will collect all the germs in and around there and then hopefully they don't make their way into your mouth. And that's it, Barry Blender's tips to surviving the fucking coronavirus. Take care of yourselves and stay well sanitized.